Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks for small ponds, or small lakes and big ponds, just anything pretty much except for big lakes. So I'm not really going to go into detail on what they're good in. But first, a Carolina rigged worm. It doesn't have to be like this. Most worms without the tail work better, but I just have this in my tackle box for now. Those work good for like a couple weeks at any at any time of the year, but you can't just keep using them. And you have to use them next to trees. Sorry, I'm going through this kind of quick. Worms also, I mean lizards, you have to make sure you have the right color. They're really good for having piers around or logs in the water. You just run them by and the big bass will come from under their log and take it. And you kind of Carolina rig it. I'm not going to go into depth how you rig it because I'm not good at it. But yeah, those work good any time of year for anything. And then you have a sluggo here. You can wacky rig it. If you don't know what that is, you just kind of put a hook in it. Just straight down through it and hook it back up. And it goes through the water like boop, boop, boop. It. And it just kind of goes crazy through the water and bass will take that. Or you can uh, Cinco rig it, which is sort of the same way, except you hang out the lure sideways instead of forward, and you just take it next to a pier and you go boop, 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 and you just pop it up. And when I say boop, 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 I mean like popping your rod. And then one of the best lures to use is a fluke or a super fluke, and you just rig it like that, sort of, kind of. And it's supposed to look like an injured fish or injured shad, I'm really not sure. But you just pop it up and stuff like that, and it works really, really good for anything. M more so for piers and big lakes, but still good for ponds. And then I have a rogue. It kind of walks the dog, sort of. It's a pretty good lure. Um, let's see. Spinner baits, I'm not going to go into detail with. Just as long as you have the right color for the pond, then you should be good. Chatter baits are amazing. One of the best lures. I prefer them almost over anything. As long as you keep them at the right depth, because sometimes the fish won't be at that depth. Like they'll be 10 feet below your lure and they just won't run for it. Because it doesn't look like it's injured or anything. So they've got to be really hungry to chase it. Um, here I have a jig, and these work really good around piers mostly, piers and falling down stuff, but I don't think it has to be like that, and you can put a little trailer like this right here, I choose to, you don't have to, but yeah, this you just jig through the water and keep it towards the bottom, and they mostly catch big bass, I've never caught a small one on it, now here we go. Buzz baits. These are the key. You kind of have to have a trailer on it. It makes it a lot better because most of them hit the trailer instead of the front hook. But it just goes to the lot water re weed resistant. And this blade will spin and it kind of makes a popping bubbly noise. And it just makes the bass so mad they have to take it. But the only downside is you have to use them in the morning. You have to use them early in the morning or late at night. Those are still pretty good. I use them in the day and catch them, but just not as much. Here I have a popper. I don't have all my poppers in my other tackle box. But these are really good for the summertime when all the algae in the water is, uh, there's a lot of algae in the water in the summer and stuff. And it's just really good to use top waters. They're also good for, uh, fall. I, I, can't, I don't know why in the fall, but I just know they're really good for the fall. Right here I have my prop baits. And these are good to use right after it rains, along with the buzz baits. And uh, they just have a propeller and they spin, obviously. But uh, it's supposed to look like an injured something. I don't know. I'm just guessing a shad or a baby fish. It's supposed to look injured. And most of the bass will come out to they won't chase it because there's no need to chase it if it's injured but still a good lure 
Now right here I have my broke back rogue. And my other broke back rogue. And they're just supposed to look like that. They're supposed to look like that through the water. And they're really good any season pretty much. Not really winter because fish don't bite in winter. But this right here, right here, really good for ponds. Like a three to ten foot depth um, crankbait because all the fish are going to stay low in the summer. And uh, in ponds, you don't really have to find the fish like you do on lakes. Pretty much all you do is just cast it out there and reel it. Most of the time, you catch big fish. It's kind of hard to catch little fish, but it still happens. Now right here I have a spitting image. It's supposed to look like a dying shad or dying brim. It's really good for right after it rains. The other day it was raining and I caught a uh, 11 pound bass on it so it's in a small pond too. It's a really nice lure. You can use it any time of the day, any year, any time of the year, preferably fall or summer when the algae's coming up. So er, yeah, so when the algae's coming up you can't use deep lures. So. Use this really good. And I don't have any on me. I do not know where they're at. But a swimming crawl, if you know what that is, it's like a crawdad. And you keep them on top of the water. And you throw them next to piers and stuff, and bass really like them. I know you were expecting this since it's a pond tips and tricks. You were expecting me to be on the pond. I might go later today and do some filming, but I probably won't. When my friend comes back from the mountains, I'll probably get him to go film with me. So like in a week or two, I'd expect that if you want to see it. And this is for this is all on the East Coast, so I don't think half of this stuff will work over in California and stuff. But uh, thanks for watching. Please give me feedback on the video comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching bye